beautiful, most virtuous, most elegant, and most favored of all maidens. Oh, she who the eyes of our noble prince beheld and never blinked or sweat ever again. She who melted the heart of the young lion of Emeya Kingdom. Royal by lineage, spectacular in appearance, and soon to be queen by the benevolence of the gods of our ancestors. I greet you. Bring her on, proud mother. Bring her on, head of the royal handmaidens. Bring her on, maidens of the queen's inner chambers. Bring her, for the gods are ready and waiting to receive her. Aya, 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 Greguma, Greguma, Aya, if how? <laughs> Our noble prince, get ready to be crowned. Gods of Enaya Kingdom, guidance of the land and our sacred river, you who knows every secret of the living and the dead, here before you is Miss Venus, who our prince and soon to be king has chosen to be the wife, to be qualified for marriage to an Enaya prince, an heir to the throne. A maiden must be a direct product of her parents, both of whom must be from Enaya and of royal bet, she must also be a virgin. Only you who are wise and truthful are allowed to confirm if a maiden is qualified or not. And that is why we are here. If Venus here is qualified, wise ones, allow me to put the crown on her head. If she's not, take the crown from my hand and return it to its place in the palace. You lied to me. You lied to me, your mother. But you are still a virgin. How could you? Mommy, I didn't lie to you. I'm still a virgin. You lied to me. The girl just confirmed that you lied by taking the crown back to the palace, Venus. Your father and I are natives of Enaya Kingdom. We are of royal lineage, too. Why then would the gods reject you if you did not lie about your virginity? She's still a virgin. She did not lie, but her father is not from this land. Oche, my husband, is her father and his family lineage dates back to the very founder of this kingdom, wise one. Yes, your late husband was a noble indigenous of Enaya kingdom, but he was not the biological father of Henos.
Mom, stop. <laughs> stop crying and talk to me. Please. I can't stop crying. Ozoko. I, I, I just can't stop crying, my dear son. Mommy. I can't. Mom, this is not about how you feel anymore. <laughs> Mom, it's about your reputation and that of the entire family. Mom, it's about Venus. She's so devastated. What happened dashed her dreams in a very humiliating manner? No innocent person like her deserves what happened. Mom, she lost the love of her life and her pride all in one fell swoop, Mom. I know, Zoko. Believe me, I am more devastated by what happened to my dear daughter today than you or Venus can ever imagine. I know, Mom. I know. I can see it. And I can also feel it here. Venus needs to be comforted by us. And it's only the truth that can comfort her. Mom, you are the only one here that can tell her the truth. As long as this issue is concerned. That truth is one that I'm still finding difficult to accept here, my son. It's such a bitter truth, Ozoko, my son. It's so bitter and painful that I can't discuss it with anyone, not even you, my children. Then prepare to bury me, mom. Tell me who my biological father is, or I'll stab myself before you hear now. Please, please, Venus, don't kill yourself. Please drop the knife, please. I love you, Venus. I love you from my heart, please. I don't need your love right now, mom. I don't. Tell me the name and the address of my biological father. Please trust me. You'll be better off not knowing. Do you think I am bluffing? Me? Ozuko, I'm sorry. But this is beyond what I can live with. Except mom tells me what I want to hear. Please calm down. Give us some time to. Ozuko, bye. No! Please, no, 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 please. no, please. I will talk. I will tell you everything. Please don't kill yourself. Mom. I will talk. Yes, I will talk. The Please. next sentence that should come out of your mouth should be the identity of my biological father. Mom, please save my sister. Or for else me. I will stab myself oh, before you. Okay, okay, Mom, okay. Save my sister for me. Please okay. say it. Now. Say it. Okay. I will tell you who your biological father was. Please. Please. <laughs> I know, Pani. I broke your leg on a bed. How? How? Are you not you? Do my people again, Mister and Missus Oche? On a bed. Obebi, 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 how we entered into the house and who we are. Well, um, we are what people like us are and nothing more. And how we made it into the house, it was very simple. Your house head, who was tightening up the kitchen, came out through the back door to drop the trash. She met us already waiting for her. As I speak to you right now, your gate man is tied up, gagged, and locked inside his room. <laughs> hey! Calm down. I know where you're dragging to. Your house help. Your son. That's it. So, yes. That in the children's room. Well, your house is tied up and gagged as well. But you won't harm them. Yes. And you won't harm your people. But that's on one condition. If you cooperate with us. Ah, we, 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 we fully cooperate with you, sir. Please, yes, what, do you want? what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I can't pay attention. I can't pay attention. I can't pay attention. We want the money. The money what Dr. Udana gave to you to buy 
building materials for the house you are constructing for her hero base friend. We need that one. Oh, no, that's not the problem now. That's not the problem. The money is intact. Very, as a matter of fact, nothing has been removed from, not even a couple. Yes, yes. Good. yes. I, 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 I hid the money in the sleep. The man hole is just by the kitchen corner there. Please, if you don't want me to go and bring it, my sir. Please, please, Mr. Chet, please, please don't, 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 don't bury us. <coughs> I'll go for it myself. Oh, okay. Daga, take him outside. <laughs> Shoot him in the head. Oh, I'm going to go to the point. Come like this. Please, 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 my marriage. He ignored my pleas and cries. He did it. But it did not end there. After raping me, he turned me to a widow. I 
I never knew that that evil done to my body and my soul by that cursed beast that night was responsible for the pregnancy that produced you, my daughter. I never knew till today at the river bank. Few weeks after the tragic death of my late husband, I found out that I was pregnant. But I never was suspected that it wasn't my husband that was responsible. I'm sorry. I never told both of you about the rape side. When I told you about my husband, how he was killed by an robber that invited my home in Enugu, <laughs> it was and it's still something that is heartbreaking to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry, Venus. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Mom, you don't owe me any apology. You were a victim. You're still a victim. I am a victim. Yes, we both are victims of the gods who, whatever their reasons were, choose to make us mere clowns on the stage of fate for their queer humor. Yes, they played you and I. They utterly led us to our public humiliation without giving us any forewarning. I'm sure they're having a good laugh, wherever they are. Please, Venus, do not blaspheme in your veins. I... I don't care, Mom. I don't care whatever anyone thinks. I don't. Here in this kingdom, I've lost everything. My life here in this kingdom is over. I have lost love, dignity, respect, honor. What are you trying to say, Venus? I'm trying to say, if by daybreak tomorrow I don't leave this land, you both will pick up my cops. Where are you living? I am mom too. Uh, I'm Venice. going away from this land. I will not turn here anymore. You have us, Venus. You are part of us. And you will always be. We love you. Mom. I love you. And I love my brother as well. I love you both. And I'll forever treasure the memory I built with both of you. If I don't leave here, Mom, I'll be a living corpse in this land. Please, don't try to convince me otherwise. I'm sorry. My God, please come back, Venus, Venus, please. why I kept this all these years and why I feel so strongly that I should hand this over to you now. But something deep inside of me tells me that it could become decisively useful to you somehow and someday. Take. An identity card? Yeah, I took it from your father. I took it from his pocket before the police arrived and I have kept it all these years for a reason I can't even explain now. Mom, I don't understand. Who is this? Your your biological father. That's his identity card. Mom, 
I've told you I don't want anything to do with him or have anything to do with him. I don't even want to have his name. It's bad enough that his wicked, murderous and criminal blood flows in my vein. I don't want anything to do with him or his family. I thought I made myself clear when I said that back home. He was a medical doctor. Yes, he was a medical doctor. And there were indeed so many things that did not quite match up about who the family and friends told the police that he was and the wicked criminal who ravaged me that night. I wasn't interested then. But now by a cruel twist of fate, he has become linked to me in an inseparable way. I have no choice but to start reading meaning into certain things. Reading meaning into se what, what certain things, mom? Everything, son. Everything. Why did I search his corpse and took his identity card? Why did I hide it from the police and kept it all these years? Why didn't he just shoot my husband as an armed robber would when he lost it and started fighting him that night? Why did he seem frozen in shock after killing him? Which gave me the opportunity to snatch his gun and kill him. Why would he go on a robbery operation with his identity card in his pockets? Why would a medical doctor with a zero criminal record, no history of violence or drug use, and the son of a millionaire, whose wedding was just months away, go robbing and do nothing else in the operation but rape me? I do not have the answers to these questions. Maybe some days you might want to ask the same question and seek answers to them, Venus. If that day ever comes, my dear, I am deeply convinced that the identity card is something for you to start with. Keep it, please. Venus, please. Huh? Just take it easy. Please. Okay. So. Okada! Oh. Who are you? Where am I? I am, I am the spirit. spirit. I was I sent by the gods of your ancestors from your father's side to adopt and bring you into this forest. This forest, that? Why this forest? Why? Why not the land of my father's birth? If my ancestors wanted me. You're a child of destiny, Venus. There's a track road 11 behind you. Find it and walk deeper into the forest through it. The gods will take care of the rest. Follow a track deeper into the forest. A totally strange environment to me. What sort of gods? What sort of destiny would come? <laughs> 
walk of faith. It's called walk of faith. Take the steps forward and fear the The gods are wise. Just stop, stop, stop. Don't. And why wouldn't I? She's dead. The dead feel no pain. They feel nothing. She deserves more pain for just making us go through. Shooting high is like shooting at the sky. It is a waste of bullets, my guy. I mean, we would have made more money. Huh? This would have been a, a hell of money, eh? Huh? Uh, considering the fact that I also want to, you know, have some fun all the night. Huh? Put yourself together, my guy. Huh? Damn you, bitch! Damn you! You shouldn't be. You, 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 you shouldn't be mocking. Damn you! A rat in where? Oh God! We fucked up, my guy. We slept up when we shouldn't, and gave her the time, the opportunity to, to escape. Here with us. It is Agadudele. When the consumers of vulture meat are gathered, the rafter is brought down at once. There is no carry you, Dele. Those are the wise words of our wise ancestors. And our ancestors are wise. They are wise indeed, Agadudele. And now that the consumers of the vulture meat that we are about to consume are gathered with your arrival. Bring down the rafter of the gods. Who is the lucky one? Which of the virtuous virgin of Ichiku kingdom has the gods bestowed with such privilege and honor, becoming wife to the heir to the throne of our fathers? For you ought to go to the family, broken the news to her first, and then proceeded to the palace with her for this ceremony, as the tradition demands. Why is she not here with you? Your Majesty, the gods decided to change the music this time around. What do you mean, Obadudele? The pronouncement of the gods surprised and confused me, Your Majesty. But you know, even as their chief servant, I dare not question their wisdom, nor bid them speak further than they have spoken or they intended to speak. But they have promised to make further revelations only in their own time, Your Majesty. I, I don't understand your good reading. Does it mean that... The gods only revealed the family where your wife would come from, but did not mention any maiden by name. Really? Father, that, that's strange. I, I, 
uh, is true, son. But the gods are wise. Their wisdom is infinite. Wise one. Which family in Echeku did the gods name? The gods named the family of the late Enyigudu of Echeku kingdom. Eche Dr. Omunau Dog. Yes! Yes! That's my, that's my father. That's my family. Your Majesty, it's my daughter Nidika. Because I did wise. Hmm. Um, my prince, you will like her. You may, you may not know her much because she spent most of her growing, growing years studying abroad. But she was excellently brought up. She will make a very good queen for you and for our people. Uh, you're, you're right. Um, I don't really know her, but. From the few times I've encountered her, I think she's well mannered indeed. Uh, exactly. Of course, quite regal in looks too. Exactly. I I'll be honored if she becomes my wife. That's it because. Oh wow, no. Hum! 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 Congratulations. Thank you, Your Your Majesty. Happy for you. <laughs> Is Miss Injideka right? Okay. Yes. She's at home. Yes, Proceed to his compound at once and bring Miss Injideka on Omuna to this palace for the ritual to be performed on her. <laughs> My king, there won't be any need for that. Let me go and fetch her myself. In fact, give me the singular honor of being the one that will break this great news to my lovely daughter and my darling wife too. <laughs> there will be no royal bride wedding ritual today, Your Majesty. There will be no royal bride wedding until the gods mention the maiden involved by name. Wise one, the ancient veil for the ritual is here already. Take the sacred veil back to the bedchambers of the queen where it belongs. And you, my prince, prepare for your seven day sojourn in the jungle of Obaja and our ancestors later today. Today? Today. So decreed the gods. And you, your majesty, prepare him. I will be back later today to perform the ritual that will enable him to succeed. me. 
Doesn't it worry you too? Uh, it is natural for humans to worry about things that are not falling into place. Especially where there is no explanation given to it, either by the spirits nor by the fellow humans. I am the king of Ichiko Kingdom. My title is Abarenigwe, which means thunder blast. But even at that, I am human and subject to the motions of my fellow man. The gods are wise. Allow that knowledge and assurance to guide your mind. In a situation like this, it helps. It's seven days sojourn to the jungle of Obaji. I am worried. Or rather, I am scared because, as we all know, the journey will not be an easy one, as I was told. And it has to happen when I clock 28th. You are still two months away from your 28th birthday, but I am still alive. Curious, again I say the gods are wise. They are confusing message about the woman I should marry. It's making me think otherwise, if the gods are actually wise. It is natural for the wisdom of the gods to appear confusing to humans. But that does not diminish their wisdom, nor travelize the virtue of patience. Be patient, sir. Patiently wait on the gods. Njideka is the only murder from the family of late Ichie Dr. Omona Udogo. Ichie Onachieza was right. Emeka was his late father's only other child who died a bachelor without a child. The gladdening message here is that you found Njideka worthy. That is the only thing that matters. So cheer up and prepare your mind ahead of you for the journey, as advised by Ogodu Dele, the chief priest. Thank you, Father. But I want to ask, can you, can you tell me what I'm likely to encounter in the jungle. Oh. What, what, what is it like? Come on, sir. It's a taboo to discuss events in the jungle during the sojourn with someone who has not made the journey before. The gods react angrily to that. But do not be afraid. Ubaji and our ancestors will protect you. No prince of Ichiko kingdom has ever come to any harm during the sojourn. So yours will not be different. Though the timing of your going may appear different, you know, but by the benevolence of our gods and our ancestors, the story of your stay there and return to us after seven years will be the same as mine and that of our ancestors before us. Cheer up, sir. Cheer up. Um, why not come with me to the living room? Let's do justice to some garnished dry meat. Wait. Oh. <laughs> 
The lifelong effects of the pepper from that meat will really do me good. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Your Majesty. The Royal Dagger. Palace Wise one. She's Injideka, the only daughter of Ichie in Achese. She's the only one mandated to do this. Your Majesty, the only ones mandated by the gods to hand over the royal dagger to the prince are his eldest sister or his chosen bride. Uh, wise one, I, I do not have a sister. Injideka is the woman the gods has instructed that I will marry. My prince, do not say more than the gods have said. It is not a very wise thing to do. His Highness is right, wise one. Njideka is my only daughter. Though I am my husband's second wife, but I am the only one who gave him a daughter, as his late wife had only two sons. A and my stepsons have no daughter yet. So, Njideka is, without doubt, the chosen royal bride. Hand over the royal dagger to Norma now! Wise one, Norma is not my daughter. Neither is she a chair in Natchez's daughter. She's only a palace babe. How are you mandating her to hand over the sacred staff to the prince? What's going on? Your Majesty! I only say what the gods ask me to say. I do not question them. Ndideka! The gods have said they will strike you with leprosy if you fail to hand over the royal dagger to Norma. Do it now! Dr. Dollar, come back here. You have a role to play in this. Let her be, Your Majesty. Njida! The gods have chosen Ichie Onacheze to perform that role. Mbano, it's not my duty to do this. It's a woman's duty. I'm a man. Ichie Onacheze, the gods knew that you have a penis before they chose you to perform this role. The gods are wise. Let us go. What a girl! This is your water girl. You shall use no other water all through your stay in the jungle except this. If you use any other water from any other source, you will die instantly. 
The food! Here are two bars of yams and other ingredients. Here is the only food you will eat all through your stay in the jungle. If you eat food from any other source in the jungle, you will die instantly. The fowl. Here is your fowl. This is the only meat you will eat all through your stay in the jungle. If you eat any other meat in the jungle, you will die instantly. The wood. Look, this shall be your only source of fire all through your stay in the jungle. Do not use fire from any other source, but for fire and for the lighting and for preparing your food. If you allow it to go off before you get to the tree of Obaji, you shall eat your food raw. Or you shall not use any other source of fire except for this. The gods of our ancestors see you through. Yes. Your Majesty. Ajay Royo, my son. We are from the family of fearless leopards who prowl through the jungle of man, beasts, and spirits and rule over them all. Fear not. Obaji and our ancestors will lead you through the jungle and bring you back after seven days safe, fully confirmed and primed for the throne of Ichiku Kingdom. We are four of Dikoha, the fearless founder of our kingdom, Ichiku, and our ancestors. I am sending you. Go. Dear Mother Port, Ichiku Kingdom and her royal throne are as old as you are, and you are as old as the kingdom. Inside you, we are the hearts of Dikoha and other kings that have ruled this kingdom. I present to you the dagger of which my umbilical cord was cut off at birth and my noble heart shall be removed and brought to you for keeps upon my death. Sanctify it and keep it for me at the end of my mission. Return it 
as a sign that the gods have found me morally and physically fit for the throne of Ichiku Kingdom. me. It is obvious that the gods picked me out for public disgrace. What did I do to them? What have I done wrong to these wicked gods? Did they have to send like me for that, that palace made Noma? Please. A PhD older like me from a prestigious university. Father, what did I do to deserve all this? Nothing. That is why I'm begging you to calm down. Ogodu Dele, the chief priest, has not mentioned Norma the palace maid as the chosen bride. Norma, according to the tradition of this kingdom, the brides to be or the princess are the only people to hand over the royal dagger to the prince on a sojourn. But I did not do this in this case. The glorified palace maid in Norma, she did. She is an indigen of this kingdom. Mom, what does that tell you? Doesn't that tell you that there is more to all this drama? Uh, well, uh, there's nothing to eat than the gods choosing to dramatize a bit in their unquestionable wisdom. Dramatize? Why are they dramatizing this? Why? For what? What is their main purpose? Well, my dear, I wouldn't know. But all I know is that I, and indeed the entire family, have no elder daughter but you. And according to you, you are still a virgin, which qualifies you to be the royal bride according to our, tra our tradition. Also, my late wife had only two sons for me before she was killed by a street bullet during the deadly plant by street gangs in Chicago. Uh, honey, tell her. Do you have any other female child for me? No, not at all. It's just you. I told you that I had a hormonal imbalance situation that made me unable to conceive again after I gave birth to you. Didn't I? Yes. You're all I've got. I don't have any child anywhere. That is sadly true, my dear. And that is the reason you have no other siblings from your mother. And that says it about the very thing you're here worrying yourself about. Please. Please. Calm down. The girls are dramatizing and I know it is not too late for them to come around. My dear. Calm down.
has a human voice. A female voice too. In this vast and distant jungle. Ah! Ah, me! How come? Settlement anywhere close to this forest. So who is she? And, and how did she end up here in this state? No, I'm, I'm here on a very important mission, and I needed to fully concentrate. So whoever you are, sorry, I, I, I can't help. Oh, wait. Could this be a test? Could this be the gods testing me to see how compassionate I can be? Or otherwise? My father said that it's a taboo to disclose whatever that happened inside this jungle during this type of mission and for that no one else except those who have made the journey before. So what? What could this be? What a prince encounters are made to deal with by the ghosts while in the jungle. Am I made to keep it to myself? So what if what if testing me in this man is part of it? Ghosts of my ancestors. Please help me. Help me to take the right decision in this. Ghosts of my ancestors. If this is a mistake, please forgive me. Let her survive and be reunited with her family through my compassionate. Please help. Young lady, I have no idea what manner of help you need to pull this through. Beyond this little things I've done for you already. Please regain consciousness and talk to me. I need to know things about you urgently. Things like who you are, your name, where you came from and how you ended up in this vast forest all alone and in the state I found you. I promise to do whatever I can to help you return to your land and reunite with your family. If you do not die in my care, please, with my princely honor, I vow it to you. Just survive.
Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm, I'm not going to harm you. Okay. I've been trying to help you. I, I met you at this jungle two days ago. Okay. Let me introduce myself. My name is Prince Ajero of Icheku Kingdom. I came to this jungle to perform a royal ritual when I saw you unconscious. I've been trying to help you since then. Do you mind to tell me who you are? But what happens to you? Why were you abandoned in, in this jungle? What's your name? Where, where are you from? Do you have a relatives around here? Can you can you remember anything? You can't. Okay. Let me get you water. Since he arrived here, all our questions to him has refused deafening silence for an answer. He completely ignored Njideka and I. Even Hejike the get man. So Njideka and I decided not to waste time but to rush to the palace where you were having meeting with your majesty to fetch you physically so that you can see things for yourself. Ask him. Ask him what is up to perhaps he will tell you. I'll do the next. What is happening here? Why are you like why are you fired the cannon in my, my compound? Eh? Ichu na chese. The ghost instructed me to come to the compound of Ichie, Dr. Omo Naudogo, and do exactly what I just did. Uncle Udeni, huh? This compound originally belonged to my late father, Ichie Doctor Omona Udog. Even at that, as the current owner of this house, I demand to know why the gods directed me to come and do this here without my permission, without me knowing. Ichie Nachese, the gods did not tell me why they sent me to do what I did. And I cannot tell you what. They did not tell me. But I know one thing for sure. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. In our tradition, before a man in your office walks into a compound to fire a cannon like this, it is to announce the death of a daughter. But in this context, nothing has happened. Why? I have done exactly what the gods sent me to do. And to their abode, I return. Why did you open that gate for me? No. Let Can you begin to talk? 
talk to me now? Do you have a secret family that you can... Shut up and shut talking nonsense. Talking nonsense? Yes. How dare you? And how dare she? Really? Come. Is she talking nonsense by asking that question? Have you forgotten what happened at the palace yesterday? And now this? Do you think we're so daft to think that it is just coincidence? What manner of coincidence is that? Oh, no, no, can you allow me to think? Allow me to think! No! Unacheze! This is not the time to think. It is time to talk. So, talk to us. Where are you hiding the sacred family you are hiding? Enough! Enough! Or have you lost your thinking abilities? Even if I have a secret wife somewhere, tell me, is it possible that you have a daughter for me that is older than this Deca here? And she was born today? Yes. The canon of a mother that was fired in this compound today simply means that a daughter was born in this compound today and will soon make her first physical appearance on the soil of Ichiku. How then can such a little girl be my first daughter, even if it is distantly possible under the circumstances? Oh, are you trying to tell me that um, another man was responsible for the pregnancy that gave birth to Jideka? God forbid! To see Akwa! Jideka is your biological daughter. She is. And I swear by the most malevolent spirit of Icheku land that no man, not even a half man, have I ever laid in between my spread laps ever since you made love to me? Then what is going on? What am I going to do about her now? Because of my ancestors. Apart from the fact that I'm going to be rationing my food and water with her to ensure that I sustain both of us for my remaining six days in this forest. Handling her in her current memory and emotional condition is going to be extremely difficult for me. She has been moody in one moment and irritated in another since you regained consciousness. Someone in such state can be dangerous to my physical safety or to herself even. She can easily give up on hope and commit suicide out of frustration. What will I do if that happens? As a prince and heir to the throne of Ishiku Kingdom, there are two things that I'm forbidden from having physical contact with. One is a woman that is misrated, and the other is a human corpse. So, what if I do? What will I do if she? decides to commit suicide or if her miserable flow starts why she is with me in this of our ancestors. I don't know what are you doing here. Father, please. I must take a chill pill and try not to be up on the hill. I'm going to explain everything. Explain what? Who is she? Father, that's what I just said. Well, I, I really don't know her. She's, she's the reason I aborted my mission. But Father, please, I, I have a reason for what happened, okay? And I promise to explain everything to you. Go and call her Norma, right now. You do not know her? 
You put the dynasty of our forefathers at the risk of permanent extinction because of a young lady you just told me you know nothing about. You must be joking, isn't it? Then say something that sounds less like a drunk of a hopeless drunk fool to me. Madness has never been associated with anyone in our language, so I cannot say you are mad. For the last time, what is going on? Who in the name of Dikoha is she? Young lady, you said you're going to be fine, but you have to kill me first. You have to kill me first. For the last time, what is going on, Ajero? Father, you need to calm down. I will tell you everything you need to know. Ezekiel! Your Majesty. Some of my chiefs and the chief priest tell them there is a ominous emergency in the palace. Okay, Your Majesty. Meet me in my chamber. Take her to your room and give her a pad. She's misreading. The state I saw her was on call for. I know I'm going for something important to say this thing. But at the same time, I cannot see a, a, a human that, that is not okay, and I will let her be like that. I had to do what I had to do. You taught me that. Um, my prince. Uh, you should have been seen as a honorable if the maiden in question is from the Cheku kingdom. But in this situation, whether she lives or not, she has nothing to do with you nor our kingdom, which means she is none of your business. I bet to disagree, Chien Dokoba. She's my business. You know why? Because she's human. She's in the same family as me. Will you shut up? My king, please. She belongs to no family that is even distantly ours! Please, come down. Father. She belongs to the human race, Father. All of us are part of that family. Those are your exact words when I was growing up. Have you forgotten? Um, my prince, just like Ichi and Dokoba here rightly said, by the nature of your mission in the jungle the type of honor and morality you talk about are not ideal at all they are not because the situation was not ideal you should have, you should have just sent her away the moment you found out that she was with blood. So I was... vow to her by my princely honor, Ichio Nachieze, that I will never do such a thing to her. You will no longer be a prince because of your rascality. We will destroy the dynasty of our forefathers. When I finally join my ancestors, this throne will be passed on to the family of... Oh, yeah. The throne will be passed on to no one else but Prince Adil. Why is one? Give me the royal dagger, my prince. The gods said I should return it to them for safekeeping. The gods promise to return it to you on the day that we choose for you to repeat your sojourn to the jungle of Obaji and our ancestors. Why is one? You mean that the gods are not angry with him because of this? Everything he did in the jungle, including his decision to abort the sojourn and return with the maiden, 
had the wise approval of the gods. Very wise approval. Then they returned the royal dagger to him when he was about leaving the Obaji tree. His testimony to this. Uh, wise one. Please. The Who is she? I mean, where is she from? The gods have not said anything in that regard, so I do not know. Not even what we should do about her. I mean, whether to allow her to stay put in the palace or not. Only the man who brought her to the palace and to the kingdom has the final say as regards anything concerning her. Prince Ajero and no one else. Hmm. Call her Venus. Venus? Is that her name? The girls did not say. They only instructed that everyone should call her Venus. The girls are white. I vowed something to her, the cheer on her cheers, and it stays like that till her memory is fully restored. Honey, you should have pressed further and added to have the girl removed from the palace. You should have even suggested them bringing the girl over here for us to help them take care of her. As friends of the palace and soon to be royal in law. You know, put fear in them by convincing them that if they leave the girl there, it could result in something no one would expect. Some kind of mistake that could result in the king or even the prince mistakenly having physical contact with her, thereby dooming the dynasty. See, she's having issues with her memory and she's someone who could do anything at any moment and she's not to be blamed. I am saying this because I'm a medical doctor with almost three decades practice experience. I know what I'm talking about. My dear, <clears throat> I stayed back after the meeting. Yeah. And I tried all I could to push this same argument you are making here now. All right. I convinced the Igwe totally. But when the prince was brought into the discourse, he ended it with an emphatic no. Three strange coincidences in three days in which the girls have completely confused everyone with their answers or silence to these important questions raised. Dad, yes. Mom, mm -hmm. I don't know how much you both want to become royal in laws. I want to become the wife of Prince Ajaro and the next queen of this kingdom. And I must confess, I am desperate about it right now. <laughs> My dear, that's a wrong thing to say. It is the gods that choose and make kings. It is the gods that choose who are brides. Why are they dramatizing my own choice like this? Yes, I trust them. But I'm no longer comfortable with this whole drama. Neither your mother nor I is comfortable. But the gods chose our family to produce Mr. Jero's bride. And you are the only biological daughter of this family. So that is about the drama of the gods in this whole affair. So, my dear, you just have to relax. You hmm? just have to relax. Yeah. Hmm?
Just yesterday, the gods pronounced a maiden for my father's family as a chosen bride to the heir apparent to this kingdom. Crossly refusing to mention me by name, the only daughter of my father's family. They rather dramatized the entire process in a manner that humiliated me before everyone in the palace. And today, the gods descends their prince to my father's compound to fire Kanu, that signifies the birth of a first daughter, or the first time a first daughter will be arriving in the soil of the Jacob kingdom. And few hours later, the prince, to which I am to be his bride, aborted a sojourn that is central to his ascendant to the throne and returned home with a strange young woman of marriageable age. Tell me, Mom. Isn't that enough to get me worried? Njideka, don't let the coincidences cry as they appear worry you so much. As the next king of Ichiku Kingdom, Prince Ajelo is forbidden from marrying any maiden that is not from this kingdom unless he will lose the throne. As we all know, the young lady in question is not from Ichiku Kingdom. But if she is by any chance an indigen, she is not a daughter of this family. So she cannot and will never be a threat or rival to you. Mom, yes, dear. If by some chances, she could be a daughter of this kingdom. Is it not also possible by some wild chance that she could be a daughter of my father's family? Are you implying that your father could be lying to us? Just wondering. Tell me, Mom. Do you still believe that we should do nothing on our paths? Solely believing on the wisdom of the non dramatizing gods? Did I know? I must say that the gods are wise and benevolent, even when they are dramatizing. The gods are wise. I will say. The drama that a gods has displayed in this bride issue so far. There is only one that has a face. The stranger that Prince Ajaru returned with from the jungle. Tell me, Mom. 
Do you still believe that she poses no threat to me be the next queen of this kingdom? You like it? Go on, you're not eating like you like it. Your clothes look so good on you. Thanks. You're welcome. Except for the difference in facial looks. Physiologically, you look every inch like her. Who? My mother. Really? Where is she? She's no more. Yeah. She was the queen's chief maid and the most senior palace maiden back then. She and the queen died hours apart. What? How? Why? Food poisoning. Yes. She died of food poisoning by the second most senior palace maid who was envious of her closeness to the queen. You see, my mother was so close to her majesty that she allowed her lots of privileges including sharing from her plates of food sometimes so on that fateful day they both shared the food that was meant for my mother and died a few hours afterwards oh dear this must be very devastating for you and your highnesses it was, and still is. I miss my mother and her majesty so much. I miss them so much. So, um, after the execution of the corporates, His Majesty drove away every other female Palace staff except me. My mother was a widow. And I am her only child. So His Majesty allowed me to stay here on a compassionate ground. He's a good man. Yes, he is. And a very capable king at that. You see, the prince took after him squarely on being compassionate. On that note, I agree with you. Only a capable and empathetic man would do all that he has done for me ever since he encountered me in the jungle. But please, tell me the truth. Am I safe here? Yes. You are very safe. In fact, very, very safe. See, once you have the support of His Majesty and the Prince to stay in this palace and kingdom, I 
promise you, no one, no one dares hurt you. You see, it is believed that His Majesty and the heir apparent to the throne are properties of the gods. And so the gods guard them jealously, including everyone under their care. So you are safe. I should be happy about this, but I'm not. Come here. You're not happy. Why? I cannot remember myself, my family, my community, how I even ended up in the jungle. No more. I cannot even remember my name. Which human being will be happy with such? No more, tell me. I understand. Patience and time take care of every situation. Those were the words of my late mother, and I believe her so much. So I advise you allow time to take care of your situation. On my part, I will do everything within my power to take care of you as long as you're in this palace. I want to take you like the sister I never had. Yes, and I want you to take me as such. Hmm? See, I want to weather this storm with you. Okay? Hello. You are the one whose help I sought in use to get my husband to marry me. Even when I was with his baby, he bluntly refused to discuss marriage with me. And when I found out that even after you helped me to spiritually engineer his wife, his first wife to get to divorce him. Finally paving way for our marriage. He was so deeply in love with her. To the extent that he secretly planned to divorce me after I delivered of my baby and returned to her. Jelo, you. You helped me to spiritually engineer the situation that claimed the life of his wife in America. Have you forgotten that it was you also, Jello, who helped me to get my husband to agree to keep his sons who were mere boys when their mother died with one of their relatives back in America so that my daughter and I can have his attention all to ourselves. So why are you telling me that you can't help me in this situation? Why? How, Jello? How? I want to know. Whatever word I say in this chamber is the word of the spirits. Dr. Udala, the spirits said they cannot help you on this one, not me. But at least you can tell me who this girl is. Who is she? Where is she from? Who are her parents? What's her mission in Egypt Kingdom? Just talk to me. Tell me all you know about her. I don't know. The spirits are not telling me. Jello, this is no longer... She is a child of destiny. Her destiny led her into the jungle and brought her into contact with Prince Ajero. Only the spirits knew what happened, and they are not telling me. Why are they not telling me? They are not telling me too. Is her presence in Ichiko Kingdom going to affect my daughter's chances 
of becoming Prince Ajayrulu's wife in any way? As far as she is alive in Ichiku Kingdom, she will be your nemesis. What? She will be your daughter's nemesis too, Dr. Kudala. Who is this girl? What does she want? I need to know. I don't know. Only the spirits knew. And they are not telling me. Neither would they tell any human. Till Obaje, the chief god of Ichiko kingdom, permits them. Then she has to die. If you or anyone working for you harms her while she is within Ichiko territory, Obaji will strike you and Ijideka dead. No! Instantly. No! Chalo, no! If you want her dead, find a way to convince her to leave Ijeku territory. Once she is outside, you can kill her outside the kingdom. How in God's name am I going to convince her? How do I get her to convince her to leave Ichiku kingdom without the prince or his majesty intervening? You are the one who said you want her dead. Figure out a way to do it on your own. The spirits said they will never be a part of it in any manner. Neither will I or they will kill me. Dr. Udala, I am done with you. God's name is this happening now. Not after everything I plotted and executed to make sure that I entered my husband's family. Why is this happening now? Why? One more question, and I must say that on the surface, it might sound professionally unrelated in your field as a medical doctor. But critically viewed, it is not. And the question is, are you a perfectionist? Hmm? You heard him. Your answers, please. Um, I'm a firm believer that in life generally and in the medical profession in particular, no one person knows it all. Two or more heads are always better than one. So why imperfection in the form of procedural or prescription mistake could be life or death issue for a doctor's patients? The team delivers better results than individual doctor. Second or even third opinions cannot be overlooked in many cases. To that extent, professionally, sir, 
I am not a perfectionist. I am a team player. And in life, generally? Still, I am a team player. Your son here, Dr. Mecca, was my mate in medical school. He can bear me witness to that. Dr. Mecca, please. I'm a member of the panel interviewing you, Dr. Dalla. You're right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, that concludes the interview. Um, please, you can excuse us, Dr. Dalla. Okay, sir. Great questions. Um, once again, Unacheze and um, Emeka. That. Yes, that. I must confess, you guys have made me proud of my decision of making you managing director and assistant medical director here. Honestly. Having said that, um, what do you think about her? I mean, her performance in the interview. Well, uh, from my point of view, as a professional business administrator, I say excellent, especially her answer to the last question, bordering on being or not being a perfectionist. Emeka, I totally agree with Tonachese's view that medically she was spot on with her answers. The team is better than the individual. Second opinions are absolute necessity in certain situations. And you, Dad, what do you think? Uh, thank you for recommending her. So, does it mean he, she has a job? Yes, um, unless you have, you're having a change of mind of recommending her. No, Dad. Go and call her then. All right, Dad. I can see that. Please, what did your dad and your brother say? Did they say I'm not good enough for the job? You know, aside from the despicable things you did back on campus, trying to seduce me, I have nothing against you, Dana. Come on, Emeka. Have I not apologized enough for all that? I'm sorry, please. You promised me there will never be a repetition of that, either with me or with any member of my family, if I help you get employed in my family hospital. This is a highly regarded private hospital in this city and beyond. And you know that, Odala. This reputation was built by my father by insisting on high ethical and moral standards for the staff over the years. Please, Odala, if there's any apology that I will appreciate. It's just for you to keep to that promise as long as you work here. For as long as I work here? Do you, do you mean that I passed the interview? Your performance during the interview was very impressive. I must confess. I'm very proud of you. As for the job, you got it. <gasps> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Emeka. You wouldn't know what this means to me. Working in a hospital like this has always been my professional dream. Thank you for making it happen. Thank you. Thank Eta Umo. She's the one who insisted that I recommend you. Oh, thank you so much, my dear friend Eta. You're one in a million, friend. Thank you. But then, you deserve all the thanks for being such a gentleman for keeping all my shameful attempts at seducing you from her and saving my relationship with her too. Thank you. God bless you. It's all right. My father and my brother are waiting in the office. Shall we? Sure.
than the gods of our forefathers, your majesty. <laughs> Hearty congratulations. Me to you and the entire royal family. Of course, yes. <laughs> yes, I understand what is required of me as the current enabled of Ichigo Kingdom and the oldest male member of the Oglisi family. Yes, of course. I will do the need for your royal majesty. Yes, I must do the need for. Once again, congratulations to your majesty. And may your reign be long. <laughs> <laughs> what a great news what a good news what a joyous way to change my schedule for the day mm -hmm. to change my schedule for the day thanks Dada. I apologize for the slightly start to today's daily management meeting. It was my fault. I had flat tire on my way coming to the office. That's no problem. Um, some great developments back in Ichigo has already overtaken the meeting though. Great development in Ichigo? Yes, sir. I just got off the phone with the Royal family, uh, Royal Majesty. Okay. The Udewe, Ibu Dewe, Dewe Nibu, the 18th of Ichiko Kingdom. His way has just been delivered of the baby boy. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> First child. Nice. And he already <laughs> has his egg to the ancient truth. Uh, 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 so, the God has not said so. Only the gods has the, has the right to say so. I don't get it, Dad. Um, in Ichigo Kingdom, only the gods have the right to choose a male child that will replace his father, the king. And they do not always follow the order of seniority in making such choice. When a child is born to a king, in each of the kingdom, within 24 hours, a ritual must be conducted to ascertain if he is the heir to the throne or not. And such a ritual must continue if the first son is rejected until we we'll have a heir apparent to the throne. Mm -hmm. That is, in each of the kingdom. And as the current enable of Ichigo Kingdom and the oldest male member of Oblis Clan, I have a central role to play this time. As the oldest male member of Oblis Clan, I am heading to Ichigo to partake in that ritual right away. <laughs> That's okay, Dad. Since you road to work with me in my car. I guess you'll be needing the car for the journey. I think that will be necessary because the mechanic called a called earlier today that he's uh, done fixing the fault in my car. Um, all you need to do is to take me up to his workshop and I'll keep my car. When? Right away. Um, if you're busy in the hospital, Driver can do that as well. Um, it's okay, Dad. I will drop you. Dr. Udala here will handle any emergency in my short absence. That's all right. Um, yes, I can, Dr. It's okay. Uh, Edna. Good morning, Dr. Udala. Good morning, Edna. I'm glad I met you here. Please, I need you to run an important errand for me. Doctor, I am taking a cup of coffee that the MD requested for me. If you just give me a minute, I will... Let me complete the coffee round for you, please. You have to help me rush over to my apartment. To help me pick a file I took home last night to carefully study. 
I forgot to come with it this morning. A file? Yes, a patient's medical file. Dr. Meta and I need information in need to carry out a delicate procedure on the patient in about an hour time. But the hospital driver can do such errands, but... I know. Come on, Edna. Do a lady like me. In my rush to get to work this morning, I left some things carelessly in my apartment that could be so embarrassing for a hospital driver who is a man to see. Please, Edna, spare me such embarrassment. I would cover up for you while you're at it. Okay, your apartment key. Don't worry, I already called my gate man, okay? The door is open. Please help me explain to and why. Why I am the one bringing this coffee. Of course, I mean, go, hurry up, okay? Apologies, sir. I sent your personal secretary to my house to help me get a fire for God at home this morning before leaving the house. Okay. I hope you don't mind. I'm the one bringing the coffee. Of course, I don't. We operate like one big family here. I can attest to that, sir. In my three weeks as a member of staff here, sir, and I must confess that um, I feel very much comfortable. I feel at home because of it. I'm glad to hear that. My office is open anytime you have a complaint or suggestion to make. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Let yeah. me return to my office and prepare for my ward round, which starts in a Fine. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir.
Where are you at, sir? I mistakenly left my stethoscope behind when I brought you coffee earlier. Your stethoscope? Yes, sir. Uh, where is it? There is, there, there, on the floor. Oh, okay. Sorry, we did this. You didn't make me, sir. We are adults. Thank you. For what, sir? For your maturity. Okay, you're welcome. Please. What we did is absolutely forbidden by my father in this facility. It must not be heard by another. I don't kiss and tell. Do you? No. And you've been holding my hands for over one minute now. Seems to me like you don't want me to wear my pants and leave. refused to listen to his elder brother and he has just left the hospital in anger to cool off somewhere as I predicted he would. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. I want you to leave that room with Dada immediately and intercept him. Right now, no mistakes. Please, please, okay? Alright, good, good. Down. He's still angry to even listen to me. He kept calling me names for falling for a, a conniving bitch like you. Make her call me a conniving bitch? I, I apologize for that. <laughs> um, he seemed angrier at you than at me. And that surprised me. Is there something that I do not know about you and him that could explain this? That's an unfair question to ask me, sir. Am I to take it you're planning to throw me under the bus before your father and brother even? Come on. You're taking it out of context. Really? Okay. Tell me the right context. I'm sorry. You are right. It was an unfair question for me to ask under the circumstances. Very insensitive too. I'm sorry. I didn't blame you, Rebecca, for opting to go out of this facility to pull off somewhere. I would suggest we allow him have the rest of the day to deal with his mood. Fine. I will also make some break to put my nerves together. What we did was okay as to consenting adults. But professionally, we goofed badly by doing it right here in your office. And we also goofed morally on the account of you being a married man with children. I totally agree with you. 
you can take two hours off from work for the day. Thank you very much, sir. I'll see you when I come back. We are professionals. Okay, sir. And the person that hired us paid us very well. I, I can double it though. I, I, I can double it. Shh. Will you close your vocal cavity? Sorry. Shut your vocal cavity. Sorry, sir. Listen. We will pay Amsonly to kill you without a second thought if we have to. For your information, if you make us kill you, all your family members will be wiped out by us. Hey, sir, please now. Sir, please. Spare me. Eh? Exactly. Even if you do not love that in life, I love my life. Love my life. For the sake of the lives of your father, your brother, his wife, and his two sons. Just keep quiet. Cooperate. And be doing whatever you are asked to do. Why in our custody? Do I make myself kill you? Yes, sir. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yes, sir. Any movement? Waste him. Okay, sir. 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 Okay, who are these people? Hmm? I said, sure! Okay, sir. One more word. I'll put you on clutches for the rest of your life. Yes, we will, we will double and we will triple it. We will triple and pay whatever the person who hired you to kidnap me pay. So that. So that what? Jesus. That voice. Odala. Remove the blindfold. Odala. Odala. I can see that you're shocked. Hell has no fury compared to a woman whose passion was scorned by a man after her heart. Oh, goodness. 
You are doing this because I told you that. Back on campus, Odala. For goodness sake. You tell who was and still your very close friend. She and I were in love with each other. Way before she introduced you to me as a very close friend. Why? We are still deeply in love. As a matter of fact, I proposed to her and she accepted to marry me. Once she concludes her further studies in America in seven months' time, you know about this, Udala. Adel has even chosen you to be her chief bridesmaid. Why are you doing all this? What are you up to? The same thing I was after when I desperately did all I did to take you away from Ethel in medical school. And what could that be that justifies having been kidnapped by armed men few minutes after seducing my elder brother in his office? Money and affluence. The wealth and prestige of being a wife to someone in your family. That is it. And nothing more, my dear. You made the mistake of rejecting me. And you made it very clear to me that no matter what I do, you cannot give me a chance in your life. Good for you. I refuse to give up back in school. And there is no ever giving up now. Not after I did all I did to enable me to get close to your brother, Unachese. Unachese is married. And he has two sons already. Udala. I do not care. You were wrong when you accused me of seducing him. I did worse than that. I laced his coffee with sex steroid. He was such in a state when I returned in his office that all it took me was a little nudging for him to end up deep inside of me. Yes, he ate that which you have rejected over the years because of a tell. And guess what? I planned all this at the point I was ovulating. Fantastic. What do you want? To scatter his marriage and become his second wife. And you think I will allow that to happen? Huh? If I am naive to think so, you will not be here, dude. What do you want to do? Want to kill me? If you give me reason to. But if you cooperate, you'll just be a few years in the prison and a free man once again. By then, I would have achieved my plan with your brother Nachese. And I should believe you about me ever living your custody of life now or in the future. Huh? Do you have a choice? Let's get out of here, huh? Udala, you are happiness. Udala, you are wicked. Udala, you are happiness. Do you expect me to tell him the truth? Do you ever see him cooperating if I should? Listen, nothing makes a man go extra mile than hope. And especially, hope for a venture survivor, for a man in his current situation. You're very correct. Yeah. <sighs> Everything you needed for the family and their house are there. No mistakes, please. I am a professional in this stuff. I repeat, this is so important to me. I will kill or die for it. You will either kill or die for it. As far as I'm the one running this show for you, you will live to celebrate your success at the end of it. 
Thank you. And talking about success, I have an appointment at the Fertilities Clinic in 30 minutes. Fertility Clinic? Yes. I don't trust his brother's sperm 100%. And there is no second guessing for me here. I have to be very careful. You are very smart and meticulous. Thank you. The stakes are damn too high for me not to be. Well, I'll see you later. Your colleagues are raping my wife. Did you, didn't you hear them? Please, I beg you. Please, just stay there not to do this. Please, I beg you. Please, I beg you. Please, please, just stay there not to do this. Please, I beg you. You know what? I have money. I have a lot of money in my house. I will give you a lot of it. But oh, please, just spare my wife of this horror she's about to go through. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Please, stay them to stop now. Stay them not to do this. Please, I beg you. Please, now. It's not clear to you that you're wasting your time. Is it not clear to you that you're wasting your precious time? No, stop, please, stop, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, stop, please, shh, please, now, please, please, hey, please, listen, please, listen, please, you will be a dead man if you try it, and even your death will not stop what is happening from being completed, if you must know that, before realizing it, I want to advise you, you better be wise, and stay alive so you can meet your wife and your son. What? Why will you do this to me? What did I do to you? This is not a real robbery operation. A maker hired us to follow him down to your house, posing as an robber, so he can rape your wife. What? Yes. Where is he? That I don't know. He's only a client. But I and my boss were professional assassins. We are not rapists. In fact, we hate rape so much that we decide to stand aside, to watch you deal with him any way you want it. And when he's done with your wife. When he's done raping my wife? When he's done raping my wife? Okay, why didn't two people do something to stop him before the act? Now, you aided him in raping my wife. Uh, when did this is stand done? You're telling me to do it. Hey, calm down. You should be angry at him after what I just confessed to you. What manner of man are you? Just go inside there and avenge your wife and avenge your own home or two. Now let's move. Fast! Move like this. Guy, <laughs> you don't enjoy finish. <laughs> Maybe <you> enjoy pass. What's <laughs> your baby? How dare you rape my wife? You pass! What's your baby? Stop him! 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 Stop him!
your friend. Hey, if you have stopped me, you would not have died. Hey? No! Mary! Frank! Mary! Uh, thank her! Oh, you sure? Why are you guys like this, eh? Why are you guys like this? Why are you guys like this? Why are you guys like this? Frank! Thank her! Why are you guys like this? Please, 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 See, I don't like this. Believe me, I don't like this. But okay. Dr. Emeka is dead. Dead at the crime scene. After raping the man's wife as she wanted it. Great. Hello. But there's a little complication. It was not us that killed him as planned. How? Committed suicide? No, but we played a little game to have Dr. Oche do the killing for us instead. But it backfired and Dr. Emeka killed him in the process. His wife grabbed the gun from Emeka and killed him before we could do anything. That was it. Beyond that, everything went as planned. Except that the headline will no longer read The doctor and robber killed by angry members of his gang for raping their victim's wife during a robbery operation. I don't have any problem with that. All I want is Dr. Mekka Umma being found dead at the crime scene after a robbery operation that he was a member of the gang that carried it out and he just confirmed to me that it happened exactly that way yes um so we are leaving this city tonight so can we now have our Then happened. Which of the staff is involved? And is it is it how bad is it? No workplace accident. It's about my brother Emeka, Dr. Dala. Emeka? Yes. Did he come back to the hospital after I left? I started creating an ugly scene. No. As a matter of fact, he's yet to come here or come to the house. Or make any form of contact with my father and I. Or even to someone known to us. Till now. God, where could he be? And what is he up to? I don't know. I'm really worried for him. I worry even more for my dad. Your dad? Yes. Is he back from the village? He's back. He came to the hospital to pick something when the call came in. A call from who? From the police. The police? Yes. They said he's about a maker. But they refuse to provide details about him until they get here. My father is worried and has been asking a lot of questions since the court came in. He feels something dangerous must have happened because of the way the police officer that called sounded. Dr. Dana, you know my father is hypertensive. That is why I called you. 
in case if something happens, so that you'll be around. And we'll be here till the police get here. God forbid. It will not be bad news. Hmm. But sound decision by you all the same. So where is he now? He's inside in his office. Can we go? Sure. He's even aware that I called you. It's all right. Receptionist called that they are here earlier, and I permitted her to allow them in. Come in, please. Good evening, Doctor. Doctor Muna. Oh. And please, this is three already three a.m. It's good morning, guys. My bad. Good morning, Doctor Muna. Thank you. My first son, Doctor Odala. My staff. It's good to hear. I am Inspector Dada. And right here with me is Corporal Onwoha. We are both detectives from the armed robbery and homicide investigation department of the Nigerian police. Armed robbery and homicide. You, and you tell me that you want to see me in respect of my son, Dr. Emeka? You heard me. Is he alive? Was he robbed by armed robbers? Is he alive? Your son was not robbed. Rather, he was a member of an armed robbery gang that robbed an innocent family. Young man, watch your mouth! Watch your mouth! Watch what you say about my son! Hey, Doctor, I'm not done yet, so please listen to me. Dr. Emeka Umuna, your son, raped the wife of their victim what? during the robbery. And the situation got out of hand. After the rape, he shot the man dead. What? The wife managed somehow to snatch Dr. Maker's pistol from him. In her fury, shot him dead on the spot. What? The other members of the gang, after them, ran away. And the police are actually sworn into action right now as we speak. Doctor, you Doctor, you Chelo and other spiritualists I went to see today all say that a strange lady in the parlors is my nemesis and that of my daughter as well. That means only one thing. That our lives will be turned upside down by her. Or that everything I did to secure our peace in the Ichie. Dr. Oman Nodogo's wealthy family would be brought to book and crashing down our heads by her. God forbid. I repeat, God forbid. Who is she? Emeka's biological daughter? No, that's not possible. That cannot be possible. Emeka was too faithful to a tell for sort. Yes, I tried all I could to seduce him and filled miserably. He was too straight all his life for any such thing. Besides, no woman ever came up with a pregnancy claimed for him since he died, and nobody in his family. Or among his friends ever spoke of such being the case at any point in time in his life. Meta never got pregnant for him either. That rose him out completely. My husband? Could it be him? Could it be he was involved in some kind of unserious sexual contact with another woman which resulted in pregnancy and the woman kept it from him all those years? Or could it be that the woman Emeka was forced to rape that night got pregnant for him and the product was the girl in the palace? No. No. 
that's too wild of the black to be even distantly possible. Yes, if she has anything to do with the family biologically, she is most likely to be my husband's bastard or that of his father. Yes! Why am I not thinking about him? Dr. Woman now. Him. Whatever be the case. Jello. And so sad that I should use my discretions to deal with the threat she clearly poses to the future, my daughter and I, if I choose to. Yes, if I choose to. And I am going to. For some sense to reason against Njideka and I. Njideka will handle that. She has to become part of whatever I do henceforth to get rid of the girl. And she is desperate enough to become the prince bride. To be a dependable partner to me in this. I'll also launch a serious search for who the girl really is, while at the same time doing whatever is necessary to lure her out of the kingdom and get rid of her for good. Yes, I will. And I must. Your Highness. What is this? I'm sorry, I left my room. No, it's fine. You're going to be sorry. As long as you did that and accompany her from Norma, within the days your menstrual flow will last. Norma knows what to do to make sure you don't have physical contact with my father and I. Same thing I told you earlier. I told you. Oh, you did? Yes, Your Highness, I did. But just as you noticed, she's still nervous. Ah, you don't need to be nervous. You're a guest, a royal guest for that matter, and not our prisoner. Okay, royal guests in a chicken kingdom are meant to be treated with everything good. As a matter of fact, if anyone that maltreats a guest of each chicken kingdom will Incure the wrath of the gods. Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome. So. Greetings, Your Highness. How are you? Greetings. How are you? I'm good. My father's woman, and I decided to come over to see you. If you're not comfortable with my honor mass presence in this palace, I can just... No, no, she's not supposed to leave. You're welcome. Anytime, in the palace of the Jacob Kingdom. Thank you. You're welcome. The stranger? The one who made you about your mission in the jungle, right? No, she did not make me about my mission. Did that out of my own will. And the gods haven't said anything about it. Yes, my father told me so. I have no problem with it. My heart goes out to the young lady. Only God knows how she feels to be alive with no memory. I feel peace for her as well. It must be difficult for her. I want to speak to you privately. Alright. You can go.
This is a private realization spot for His Majesty and I. Only guests we hold in high esteem are allowed to come around here. Please come have a seat. You can have a seat. Wow. Honestly, Your Highness. I feel so honored that you find me worthy to be brought here, even though we're not formally. Uh, Angelica, you know, you said you want us to talk about something, which I don't know, so. Um, <clears throat> Your Highness, I don't know how you would take this. I want to move into the palace. It's a plea, please. Moving to the palace? Why? I'm your wife to be, Your Highness, and I feel... Oh, well, the gods have not uh, announced that. Oh, have they? Your Highness, the gods are only beating their time until the nation you by me. My father has no brother. I'm his only biological daughter. My stepbrothers, they have no daughters yet. My family's name was mentioned as one from which your bride will come from. So technically, I'm already. <laughs> well, like you said, we just have to allow the gods, you know, do their own bidding. Because their ways are different from ours. The gods are wise, okay? And if you must know, patience is the principal virtue of a queen. So I must advise that you have to be patient till the gods call you by your name. I know, I know this, Your Highness. But I am not asking to move into the palace because of our future relationship as man and wife. I'm doing this out of compassion. I don't understand. Patience is a principal virtue of a queen. So also is compassion. Am I wrong? I still don't understand. The stranger you came back with, it's an added burden to this palace, whichever way you look at it. There are limits to what you and your highness can do for her. A memory problem makes her even more. A measure flow is going to stop. After the tragic passing away of Her Majesty Norma's mother and the sacking of all the female staffs in this palace, Norma already has a lot on her hand. Please, Your Highness, let me be that extra hand to take care of things. Allow me complement the compassionate work you have started for her and with her. This is impressive. Thank you. Um, Your Highness, is that a yes? Well, I have to speak to my father first to confirm that. So, that's it. But my traveling won't be Educate, get the gate. We see Palestine. Were you expecting him? No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings, Inyi Gudu. Greetings, Isika. Greetings, Lola. Greetings. Greetings, favored of the gods. Greetings. 
His Royal Majesty, Igwe Udebe, Agbari Igwe the 18th of Ichiko Kingdom, sent me to inform you that he has given his royal seal of approval to your request, Njideko. <gasps> you mean that I can now move into the palace? Today, if possible. Yes! Yes, I'm ready! 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 Go back to the palace, we are coming, eh? because we are coming with oh, the, 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 the flower dolls and the... Oh, my don't, don't worry, don't eh? worry, don't 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 I don't know. Born of a great mother! Sounds like a procession of some sort. from the mother's womb. Procession that we are not aware of. And an abandon. Here comes Judeka. Judeka? The chosen bride of Ichiko Kingdom. That sounds like her mother's voice. Queen and more. A queen of all queens of Ichiko Kingdom. Let's jump up. Let's jump up one more room, okay? Let's jump up one more room, okay? Much harm! Much harm to your husband's house. Here comes! Judeka! Una Cheze! Omuna! Born of a great family! Chosen by the gods! For beings! The only chosen queen! The latest queen of Ichaku Kingdom! Omali Changwa! And then the bed Hey! Uh wow! Oh, oh, oh. The gods are not mistaken. What's me now? See if I slap you, stop that nonsense. Why? Why? What? What? What's that? What? 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 Please, sorry we took you on a words. It's nothing, just a proud mother trying to add colors to her daughter's special day and moment. We, 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 we meant nothing. Is it chair or not she is aware of this? Yes, your majesty. The Enyi Budu of Ucheko Kingdom is aware of this and he allowed you to go ahead with it. Is he not aware that this type of procession into the palace is only organized for a royal bride who is formally moving into the palace for the traditional two weeks familiarization proceeds? Her formal wedding to a prince. Is he not aware of it? My husband and I are aware of it. You and your husband are aware of that and you went ahead to do that. How dare you, doctor? His Highness, please. Help me to beg his majesty. We're not trying to... If you know what is good for you, get out of this palace immediately! You, you mean all of us? If your mother and these lunatics are not out of this palace this minute, you will join them and never return again. Norma. Yes, Your Highness. Take her inside. Right away, Your Highness. And change to something more appropriate. Hey, you! Why are you standing there moping at me? Come and help me to my room. Go get my luggage. And no, come. you will do it yourself. Nobody's doing anything for you. Hey, come here. 
What was the brief when you were sent to Njideka's place? I'm sorry, I... I... I'm not mad. I'm sorry, I... Wait, get out of my presence immediately! Herself. I had to wait for her to return and sleep again before I sneaked her. I don't understand. Norma is sleeping in the same room with you? It's not a prince. I don't even understand what he's doing. He ordered Norma to sleep in the guest room so he can give extra company to the stranger. And he told me if I'm not comfortable, I can leave. Can you just imagine the humiliation I have to go through in this palace? That's strange. But why would the prince do that when they're about 10 other empty rooms in the royal mansion? This is what my mother also asked me when I spoke to her on the phone. She said I should just remain calm, that the prince might be testing me. Sika, do you think this is a test? Yes, I think so. But are you really sure Norma had slept before you left the room? My feet. Are you sure it's complete? Remember what my mother told you when we had you in my father's company. This is a long-term partnership. Who cheats such a partner? Okay. Let me know anytime you need my help to carry out anything. Good night. Um. Apologies for the slap of this game. Thank you. Are you blind or you just enjoy throwing random useless questions? I'm sorry. I don't think so. I did not demand for an explanation. What are you doing with her? Venice? She was teaching me to. She's teaching you a job? I asked her. She resisted, but I insisted. Venice, you don't need this kind of stress. These are jobs meant for servants and semi-slaves only. With all due respect, I am not what you refer to me as, and I demand... You have no right to demand anything from me, Norma. If I were you, I would chew my words carefully before speaking to the next queen of this kingdom. We all know the appointment of female workers in this palace is solely for the queen. If you want to remain working here, you know what to do. I'm sorry. Good. Venice. Come with me. Um, I don't want to. I want Nyoma. I like what Nyoma is 
teaching me. This my mayhem of coming to this palace are solely for your care and recovery. Earlier today, a great healer spoke to the prince. And he said that you need to go out and interact with the people of this kingdom, as that will help with your recovery. And I'll come up with that. He ordered me to take care of the palace. I'll come when I'm done, Yama. No, please. You have to go now. She said this a water from the prince. In this kingdom, no one dares question or refuse the orders from the king or his prince. Please, just go. Messenger from my destiny? Yes! Your destiny sent me to save you! To save me? You mean... You mean you know me? You know who I am? My name, my original name. Where I come from. Who my people are. You know everything. Please tell me. Ask no more questions and let me in your full ears if you want to leave. Thanks. It's the same name your parents gave to you. Queen and mother of great kings. I, 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 I greet you too. But please, do not refer to me as a queen. For the gods have not formally named me as... Ndeveka! Yes! You are... The gods are only bidding their time to family. Pronounce you by name. You really? You, you, you mean it? Place your hand on the ground and swear by the gods of the earth that you are going to do exactly what I am going to tell you to do to help Venus escape or you will be barren all your life. Swear to the mother heads? No! The gods forbid, I cannot do that! You will do it! I am ordering you, Ndideka! Do it now, or I'm sure that thing will strike you! Please, please, please do not harm me. I, 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 will, do, I will do as you have said. I, I, I swear, I swear, I swear as you have been strutted. No! The only thing that will free you from this vow is if she refuses your help on her own. Now listen, you must help her to escape from the palace and this land within the next seven days. Escape? To where? I don't know anywhere. I don't even know myself, not even my name. Cousin the prince about his sudden and 
The jungle is an abominable offense for which the gods of the kingdom have decided that you should be killed and your blood used to bat the, the prince. Unless that is done, he and his family will lose the throne forever. And Antideka will still be there as the bride of whoever the throne will be given to. For she is destined to be the next queen of the kingdom. That ritual is to be carried out in seven days from today. Not even our Delhi, the chief priest, is aware for now, as the gods have chosen to keep it to themselves till a few hours to when the ritual will be carried out to avoid someone and lack in you some part. Now to serve their dynasty. The Igwe and the prayers will not refuse the rich home when the God finally reveals to the Dudele and he informs them about it. Yes, as difficult a choice as it will be for the prince to make due to the vow he made to you in the jungle, he will still agree to have you killed if God is right to your soul. the look on her face. She sure believed every word of what I said. <laughs> of course, someone will meet you when you escape from the kingdom. However, that will not be to restore your memory and take you back home. Poor thing. Hmm. Poor little thing. It will be with a dagger to send you to your ancestors. Sorry. Sorry, my dear. The unending drama from the gods and the pronouncement about you from Jello and Co. leave my daughter and I in no space for taking anything for granted in your case. Even if it were to be otherwise. The presence of a little and mysterious young lady like you close to the prince under the circumstances is very, very unacceptable to us. Yes. The gods are indeed the entire prevailing circumstances left us no such choice at all. My Injideka. My Njideka must be the chosen bride and the next queen of Ichigo Kingdom. And my position in the Omanau dog family must never be threatened directly or indirectly. Not now. Not ever. Never. Goodbye. Little puffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Phase one gone. Others follows.
where are you people coming from? Where did you take her to? Um, I, I took her as for sightseeing, Your Highness. They said it's good for people with memory loss. Who said? Because the last time I checked, your mom is a soldier and not a neurosurgeon or neuroscientist. So who said? If you must help her, like I said, you must take permission from either me or my father. You are not allowed to take her outside the palace unaccompanied. This will be the last time you will flaunt my orders. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Leave. It's really a wise decision for me to have pretended to her that I'm not aware that she lied with my name in order to convince Venus to follow her out of the palace. What if she did it for something other than helping her as she claimed? Could it be that she's here for something less noble than what she and her parents told my father? My father and I actually, is that what she's here to do? If she could lie with my name without fear, can she ever be trusted? Should I call her back and confront her with what I know and send her back to her father's compound now? No. Her presence in the palace is offering me the opportunity to closely monitor and study her well. As my wife-to-be, it's very important. Important enough for me to tolerate what she did today. <sighs> Detailing is here, I can be personal I'll have to watch her more closely henceforth. Will just be enough. Sika. Nice. I want you to pay very close attention to Njideka. Report any funny move from her. Keep a very close eye on her. Then I should keep a close eye on your future wife, your highness? You fool. Do so exactly what I just said. I'm sorry, your highness. I'm sorry I asked. Oh my girl. you lied to me and your mother that, 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 that you... Yes, I lied! But I did that to take you out of this palace. But what the messenger from your destiny revealed, you should be glad that I took you out of this place. Mm, you, you, you shouldn't have lied. You are, you are the queen to be. What is more important to you right now? Lecturing me on the virtues of a queen? Or planning your escape from this palace so that you can return to your people? Which is more important to you? Tell me. Mm, I want my memory back. Then I return to my people. Good. Um, I'm hungry. I'm sure I know much of them cooking by now. Don't worry, I'll go get our food so we can eat and plan your escape. <laughs>
I said that the priest is no longer the problem. He has already forgiven me. Even if he has something else to do, his personal guard will allow to us as usual. My worry now is the things he said, the impression that those things he said must have created in Venice's mind. Mom, I just left the room after speaking to her to secure advice. She's still looking at me all shocked and suspicious of me when I left. Listen, you have to do all you have to do to clear the vow on her mind and stop her from talking to someone else. See, even if it means you going down on your knees to apologize to her, do it. You have to go back to her, forget your pride and do as I have said. Need I remind you that? Your father is still angry. Yes. He's still angry with us because of the embarrassment we caused him. Have you forgotten? The show we put up two days ago while you were going back to the palace. His majesty called him and lampooned him thoroughly on it. He's been very angry. And we've not been talking. Not to each other. Yes. You have to do what you have to do to handle this. If you fail to handle this and it goes out of hand, <laughs> it poses a threat to your marital plans and our position in your father's house. So, you need to handle this. Do not forget that the spiritualists say that this girl is our nemesis. And I believe you know what that word nemesis means. If you fail to handle this and put a stop to it, we are doomed. So, if you'll be needing my help, put a call. I will find a way to come there and do it. Okay, you say you can handle it. Then stop talking and do the needful. All right. Best of luck. Keep me posted. Sure. <laughs> ah, we can't be bigger than us. We are the daughters of the soul. At last, the food is finally here. I'm so sorry for the slight delay. His Majesty sent for me to point and stop raining your dirty saliva into our food. That's too harsh for. I mean, you're in no position to judge my choice of words in this palace. Venice, don't ever let me remind you of this again. I'm sorry. My psychology lecturer was spot on on this one. He said that people in a situation are best controlled by appearing authoritative and in control than by soft talks that will portray someone like me to death as afraid and vulnerable. The way she quickly apologized and comported herself, this is a sure way to go. Put in the fear and respect of me in her and in as well. Yes, she has seen Noma literally flinging at the sound of my voice or been put on the edge all the time and... The soup is quite delicious. It's one of His Highness and His Majesty. Quiet! Inoma. I hope this splendid yam is well granted. It's from the same mortar as the one His Highness and His Majesty are eating right now. I'll forgive you for the sarcasm because I am hungry. 
I just want to eat. Yes. Let's go ahead. Anamo, what are you trying to do? We eat from the same plate. I insisted on that the very same day I came here. Not when you were sharing a meal with the next queen of this kingdom. I gave you such privilege based on compassionate grounds. Not for a palace sent sleep. I am not quiet! Leave before I lose my appetite. I've lost my appetite. This is your person. Oh, I think I should go back and see again. No. Regardless, my, my pride has to be intact. What a lady, so brash, so arrogant, so lacking in virtue of any kind. She used the prince's name to lie and take me out of the palace. And even when the prince made me realize that she lied, she was still too arrogant to show real remorse. Hmm. What a woman. And a messenger from my destiny instructed me to trust an arrogant liar like her. Even plan my escape with her. Such a messenger is meant to be a spirit, and spirits are supposed to be wise. Where is the wisdom in telling me to trust a liar with my life? A liar who treats such a kind and generous girl as Noma with no respect, with so much contempt that she insisted that she be kicked out of this room. I refused to back down till the prince reluctantly agreed. Hmm. Inoma, what is it? His Highness and I are on our way to a royal wedding in Nduma Kingdom. Even if you are not aware of it, are you blind? She called me Njideka. Not you. I'm sorry, Your Highness. His Majesty and his cabinet are long gone before us. In fact, we're running late. The affairs of this palace and our people take precedence over everything at all times. Everyone in this palace knows that, including in Norma. I do not believe she will call me back from a social function if it's not important. I took time to explain this to you because I don't want it to repeat itself again. 
I'm sorry, Your Highness. Norma, what is it? Your Highness, she is totally clear right now and it's safe for you to make contact again with her. Venus? Yes, Your Highness. Are, are you sure? I can swell on anything about this, Your Highness. Her menstrual flow has stopped completely. Thank the gods. Okay, take me to her immediately. Your Highness, we're running late. The function is called off. Called off? <gasps> I hate this girl. Be careful. But... No one questions the king and the prince when they make decisions in this palace. It's forbidden. You need to leave tomorrow. I don't trust that no one will overhear us talking in the room. So, I called you here Please, to brief. Please, more time. Venus, there is no time. You don't have that time. I still have four days. Are you okay? Venus, I am talking about your life. I know. And I still insist on taking my time emotionally to prepare myself for the whole thing. Venice, please. I want it that way. Don't try to convince me otherwise. Excuse me. What does she mean by she wanted more time to emotionally prepare herself for the whole thing? Does it mean that the stunt my mother and I put on her failed to achieve its intended purpose on her? We are talking about her life for heaven's sake. How can someone be this carefree about her own life? Even with the memory problem she's battling with, death should scare her, as it does to everyone else. Look at how peaceful she's here sleeping. I wish, I wish I could just bury dagger into her chest and head everything tonight. Calm down. Calm down, Judica. Do not allow anger and hate to get the better of you tonight. Relax and meet your mother for further planning. Noma, how many times have I warned you not to take her out? And stop teaching her the silly things you do. What do you think this place is? A poor people's quarter? I was born and bred in this palace. Meaning what? 
No, I am asking you. What do you mean by that? Maybe I'm in no position to lecture you on what to do and what not to do in this palace. How dare you she is my friend? Your friend? Venus, who am I to you? Your enemy? Tell me. Both of you are my friends. Severally, Noma has confided in me to serve you with dignity. Please, she deserves the right to love, respect, and serve you. She also wants to be your friend too. She does not need my love and respect or friendship to save me. As the next queen of this kingdom, as long as you live in this palace, you will continue to save me. It's okay. She's right. I'm sorry. Please, mom. Is there anything you would have me do for you? I overheard you speaking to Venus about going to the markets and restocking the things in the kitchen. I heard Silver overheard you talking to his majesty about the list you made. And he gave you some money. Let me have it. You want me to give you the list and the money? As the next queen of this kingdom, I want to start restocking myself. You know, Ma, I need you to understand something. If you ever try to argue or disagree with me, the very day I will come into this palace as the next queen, you will leave. Please. Someone in your position is not expected to... Don't you dare question me or lecture me on what to do. Come with me and give me the money. Now. I wish it was you. I wish it was you. Now, you've got some names because the place is bright to be. You look, talk, and behave queenly. You are more deserving of the prince than her. And the prince seems to like you a lot. He doesn't. He just pities me instead. Pity, like, love are all positive products of human emotion. And they all have their depth in expression. See, I know what I saw in the prince's eyes the day he was with you after he, he, he almost dropped you. Stop. Please stop. Hmm? I'm not here to know whether someone likes me or not. Such things are not important to me. Especially someone like me in my condition. I want to know who I am. I understand. Everything will be fine. Okay? Please listen. Norma was right, dear Venus. She was very right. I, I also wish you were the one. Jideka seems too desperate to go to the market for the rich talking that she wouldn't even let Norma tell her anything about the permissibility or otherwise of, of it for someone like her in the palace. What is she really up to? Send this yak after her to find out for me? No, no, no. Here she could just be bored and needed something to do. I, I think I should just keep pretending that I'm not aware of all the hostile attitude that she has been putting up against the Norma. As they have been more revealing of her through character to me than anything else. I 
cannot reject her as my bride, Eve. And when the gods finally name her specifically, but I can at least equip myself with enough information about her mannerism that will enable me handle her decisively as a wife while she's here in the palace. Besides, by what she did, she has unknowingly created an opportunity for me to take Venus out alone and get to her have some quality private talking time with her. Yes, she has. And I'm not going to miss it ever. Take this money. Go to the market and buy the things in that lease carefully. If need be, get help from the market women. And when you're done buying, give me a call. I will come pick you up with the items. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'm done. This palm wine in my hand is of such top quality. Have a test. Mm. Mm. This is good, I told you. So why not sit down and let's savour it together? Oh no, Father. There won't be need for that. I actually came to seek for your permission to take Njideka and Venus around the kingdom, you know, for sightseeing. I believe that will give us the opportunity to bond more. Oh, good, good idea. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a nice thing to do. But why take Venus along with you? Well, she's actually the reason I'm doing this. I believe that will help weaken her memory recovery process. Sounds nice. I, I totally agree with you. I, <laughs> you, you have your way. You have my consent. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank the ghost that my father is not aware yet that Indideka is not in the palace now. I will leave with Venus and Isiaka through the back gate. How are you 
girls? Okay, would you get ready? I want to take you out for sightseeing around the kingdom. Me, Your Highness? Yeah. With Injidaka. Where is she? Your Highness. When? Now. Is it a problem? Um, Your Highness, she she's not in the palace right now. Um, she, she was she was bored. She needed to do something with her to make her busy with her time. So she insisted on handling the task today. I apologize on her behalf, Your Highness. Why does it look like you both are hiding something from me? Are you covering up? No, Your Highness. I mean, she's your wife to be. And we're just ladies in the palace. I don't need to apologize. I understand that you're covering up for her. Women supporting women, I guess. All right, just go. Get ready. So we'll get going. Yes, Your Highness. Sorry, now, now. Sorry. Sorry. Can you try maybe uh, your uncle just match you? What? Are you serious? Sorry. What? It's so painful. Oh, come, sorry. Sorry. Can you, can you just try force, force it? I think there is a slight dislocation on the bones or something. Just try and kick. This is really serious. Oh Sorry. God, Sorry. Let me take a look at it, Your Highness. I have some ideas about bone and ligament settings from my maternal grandfather. Um, I don't think there will be need for that. I think since we are close to the cast place, the mom can take a look at it. She's a professional in it. Your Highness, walking from here to Ichi on Achese's compound with a strained or dislocated ankle could actually make the case worse for her. Um, she's not going to walk. You want me to carry her, Your Highness? I'll, I'll, I'll carry her. Since it's, it's quite close. No, you're fine. What? No. No, don't worry. Just hop in. It's close. Sorry. advised me on how to give the royal permission to leave the palace. So I came up with a kitchen restocking. I thought that would end your forgiveness and be an excuse to come see your mom. Mother, how do I go about this? How do I make her agree to whatever we tell her without further delay? Um, you have to threaten her. Get her threatened. Yes. Mom, what if she reminds me that the messenger from her destiny said that I would die if I... You don't need to. 
You don't need to panic. Just tell her that you would tell the Highnesses what transpired in your way and how her destiny... Your Highness, what is wrong with her? What are you doing here? What are you doing in your father's compound? Is this the market you told the mama you're going to? Um, uh, your Highness, her car. Her car developed fault, so I told AGK to see to it. Yeah. Since the market is close by, and um, we're trying to get the mechanic to work on the car. Yes, my prince. What is wrong with her? You okay? The voice. Which voice? The voice. Um, Indijeka, please. Did the prince just say this is your father's compound? This is my father's compound. Is she your mother? She's my mother. Uh, bring her inside, please. Let me see to the... To, to the... Don't ever allow him carry you in his hand like that again. Oh. Don't you dare play ignorant with me, Venice. Else you will provoke the demons in me. I'm sorry. The voice in the forest and the voice of your mother's destiny in evil cosmos is the spirits and the messenger of a spirit is a spirit. The spirit can use anyone's voice they want. That is, they can do just anything. I never said that the voice of the messenger and that of your mother's are alike. How come you came so quick to that conclusion? <clears throat> Let's talk about your escape plan, Venice. I want to sleep. You want to sleep? Are you talking about... I know you're talking about my life. The owner of the life who is in danger, right? Let her worry about her life. Very I want to sleep.
to give her a professional physiotherapy. Uh, you see, as, as I said, my mom being a medical doctor, bone healing is my, my mother's family's profession. She got the special abilities from them. Um, Venus, I'm, I'm sorry if the way I pulled you caused you some pain. Please let me see. Offended my love. Please, leave my sight. Get out now! Sorry, Father. Walk with me. Any ruined man must learn how to manage his jealousy in life, especially before others. Father, she hasn't done anything to warrant her. Your soft spot for Venus is clear enough. You must manage that too. You are a prince. Honestly, I wish it was her. Honestly, deep inside me, I wish the same. Really, Father? In looks, in the conduct, and temperament, she is queen indeed. But she is not for you. She can never be for you, and that's it is that. Like her, help her, fulfill your vow to her. But in so doing, be aware 
not to ruin your relationship with their future wife. But father, the gods have not specifically named her my bride-to-be. The gods are obviously bidding their time, son. Don't be faster than them. Gentle patience is a virtue of kings. So also are tact and self-control. The king is wise. <laughs> Only the gods are wiser. I want to see Venus. Is, is, is everything all right? Is it what? what? Am I just call her? Yes, I'm just. Wise one, please. Is, is, is there any problem? The gods asked me to meet them in the jungle of kings. I will be there for three days. When I return, you will repeat your sojourn in the same jungle on the fifth day. Prepare for it. Why is it? You asked that we bring Venus. Here she is. The gods so demanded, and their intentions have been accomplished in the spirit. See you all when I return on the third day. Three days that the chief priest said he will return from the jungle marks the seventh day. The messenger from your destiny revealed that you be killed, and your blood used to cleanse the prince. With that in mind, what do you think? The ghost invited the chief priest to the jungle to tell him. Help me. I, I, I don't want to die.
you've really hungered me of late. Are you aware? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, help me escape this land. Help me and the gods will... It's okay. I have a plan already. You have to follow my instructions carefully. And by midnight, you'll be out of this kingdom tomorrow. You mean it? Tell me. Tell me about the plan. Which do you prefer? To hear it? Or have it carried out and get you to your people safely? I want to go home. I want to see my people alive. Good. When the time for your escape comes, I will tell you the plan. In the jet cap. <laughs> Begged me in tears all through the night, not to change my mind. Ah, the fear of death has completely taken all over her body and soul. For the extent that all she thinks and talks about is how to escape. Oh my word, this is good. Exactly how we wanted it. Yes. <laughs> now mom, I was still going with the usual plan of You've made changes. No, there's no need of changing the original plan. See, Isika has been briefed by me on what to do. So he's standing by to swing into action once you give him the signal. So tell me, did you notice anything that made you think we should change the original plan? No, this is so, mom. I have to go now before the notes that I sticked out of the palace. Mom, I love you! You are the best! <laughs> Very soon, I will your majesty. I will your majesty. I will your majesty. Glad your, your strained ankle is healing so fast. You know, you told me that compassion and faith kills better than medicine. And, and right now, I can't agree less. You've treated me with absolute compassion and propped up my faith. In doing so, both have really helped. May the gods bless and sustain you always. You see... I'm going to miss you when I return to the jungle. I'll miss you too. But that's if I'll be alive by then. What do you mean by that? Are you ill? Is anyone threatening you? No. I'm not ill, Your Highness. But knowing nothing about myself, I constantly feel threatened by your unknown. Hey, you don't, you don't have to feel that way, okay? You are safe here, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you in this palace as long as I'm still alive. Anything that will happen to you first will have to pass through me, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness for making me feel loved and secured around you. Of course, you... That's... That's because of who you are. 
that's because of the kind of person you are. You have you have a very likable personality. And my father's words, you are queenly. His Majesty said that about me? Yes. Yes, I totally agree to that. Okay, and um, you know, I shouldn't have said this to you, but um, I just have to say it regardless. I wish it was you. I wish you're from this village. I, I don't understand. I, I have to, I have to meet my father. We'll have a meeting with the Royal Council. I'll see you later. Are you sure that everyone is asleep? Yes. I drugged Okandu's wine as planned. And they will be in such deep slumber that even if the palace is on fire, it will have to be carried out still sleeping. Uh, uh, but not that raise suspicion with your highnesses when the scene is for states in the morning. No. It will be awake before daybreak. Oh. We need to move. Where is she? She's in the guest room that I share with her. Um, I'll, I'll go get her now. And Sika, you need to be prepared for her reaction. She's unaware that you're the one that's escorting her. That's, that's because of who you are. That's because of the kind of person you are. You have, you have a very likable personality. And my father's words, you are queenly. His majesty said that of me? Yes. Yes, I totally agree to that. Okay, and, um, you know, I shouldn't have said this to you, but, um, the room is clear. Let's go. Wait, wait, please. Can we talk about whatever it is when we get out of this compound? There is no time. Wait. I don't want to escape anymore. You're joking, aren't you? No, I'm not joking. You're not joking. Venus, did you forget what staying here means for you? Now look at me. If you do not do it tonight, I will risk my life. Go to the priest and the Igwe and tell them what the messenger from your destiny told us. And do you know what they will do to you? They will seize you up, lock you, to the day you will be executed to save the dynasty. Yes, they will sacrifice anything or anybody when the dynasty is involved. The vow the prince made to you means nothing when the dynasty is evolved. What is wrong with you? Don't you understand this? They will sacrifice you. The prince has been good to me. His majesty has been kind as well. If I escape, they lose the whole dynasty because the cleansing rite will not be carried out. You and I know this whole thing started because the prince, out of compassion, acted to save my life. <sighs> so if pain him, with his kindness, with my life, then I'm ready and willing to do so. You want to give your life to those people? Phyllis, 
Have you lost your senses? Do you realize that your family could be out there searching for you? Offering sacrifices to the gods to prevent your destiny? I am alive because of the prince. So I will consider sacrificing my life as the right thing to do. For someone like the prince, for his kindness and compassion. As for my family, they would understand when and if they hear the full story. Do you really have to? You can go and tell them what the messenger from my destiny told us as you have threatened me this night. I will not change my mind. No matter what you do or say here. This is a potent poison according to the herbalist. So be very careful with it. I will now go. Wait, 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 wait. Please, isn't there something else we can do to save the situation but this? What is wrong with you, Isika? No one else is going to be harmed on this but Venice. Isn't that what you demanded before you agreed to be part of the plot? What is it about the latest plot that you are shaking like a chicken? No, 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 it's just that I am scared that something might go wrong that all of us will be caught. It's sick that none of us will be caught. What is wrong with you? Just play your part well. Yes, mm -hmm. mommy, play your part. I wish you luck. I'll call you. Be gone. Go What do you want? I'm sorry about my change of mind last night. Please forgive me, Anne. Venus, I never said I was upset because you had a change of mind. Did I? I've changed my mind again. I want to escape again. I'm no longer interested, sir. Cancel me out. <laughs> Please. 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 Help me escape. Please. 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 Please help me escape. Please. Please help me escape. I don't want to die. Please. Wait. If you don't help me escape, then I'll go to the king and the prince. I'll tell them what the messenger from my destiny said. I'll also let them know that you're aware. And as several times you have tried to help me escape. Yes, I would die after telling them. But what do you think will happen to you after that? Okay, fine. I'll help you. But you have to give me time to reactivate the previous plan. It's okay. It's very okay with me. I I I'm so sorry I threatened you. Mom, I had to postpone poisoning the food yesterday. After speaking to her, a threat really shocked me to the bone now. Calm down. You see? 
She has as a matter of fact given us an added ingredient to the soup of death we are making. For her agreeing to escape again, she has. How? Mom, how do you mean? Okay, this is the catch. Imagine what seeing her with her full luggage packed and ready to run away when the fire starts burning would look like. Think about it. are so smart. Hmm. <laughs> you know, taking on the fate is second nature to you. Mm -hmm. Goodness! I'm a good medical doctor. A good doctor is and must be a master of improvisations. Thanks for the compliments anyway. So you go back to the palace and get prepared. Tell Isika to prepare too. Tell Isika to prepare for what? Mother and brother have suddenly gone down. I ask you again. Tell Isika to prepare for what? Is it true that a crowned prince or even a king can take a second wife from another village after getting married to a maiden from this kingdom. Is it right to, to do it? Is that what Chen the Koba told you? Well, um, he's right. But what led to that discussion? It's Venus. Venus. Yes, Father. You see, I, I don't know how you're going to see it, but um, I don't want you to take it so seriously or, you know, get pissed in what I'm about to say. You see, indeed, Hindidaka is the chosen bride for me, according to the gods, and I will obediently you know, do what the gods has asked. But truth be told, based on what I've seen so far, I mean, based on what I've, based on my observation, her attitude or everything, I don't think I can, I don't think I'll, I'll ever love her. I don't think that I'll get to respect her as my wife. So I'm planning, days after our wedding, I'll just have to marry a second wife. And it has to be Venus? Yes, Father. Based on what I've seen of her, Father. Yes, it's Venus. What you say? I saw it a long time ago. I saw it almost after you returned from the jungle of Baji with her. That there was more to your interest in her welfare than just princely, you know, honor and compassion. You're right, Father. I started falling in love with her days after I brought her back to the palace. I love her. So, do you... do you approve of it? Not before her memory is fully recovered. And we're sure of her origin. 
and why she ended up in the jungle where you found her. Wisdom demands that you do that. If you are seeking for my consent, you have to wait until this happens. Of course, Father, I'll gladly wait. Whatever long it's going to take for her memory to get restored, for her sake, I will wait. I pray that the gods will make it happen faster. Chan, a prince or a king must take decisions based on the consideration beyond his emotion. He should and must. While we wait for her memory to be fully recovered, you have to give your decisions for the thought. Wisdom demands that, son. Thank you, Father. Are you sure this will be enough for your journey back home? I think so. <sighs> My destiny will take care of whatever I've forgotten. That's him. The man that will lead you out of this kingdom is waiting for you at the back gate. Okay. Hold on. Here's the key to the pedestrian gate at the back. Have it. Just hold on. I will go out there and survey to be sure that no guards are on sight to see you when you step out. Okay. The prince and the eagle will be having a dinner at the dining table. And Unoma, as always, will be waiting until they are done. So we have them sorted out. Sure. So when you... Hear me make a sound from behind the house. You come out. Remember, the man that will lead you out of this kingdom is waiting for you at the back gate. Hey, don't mess this up, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> She's 
fell in the truth. It's Loha. It's Venus. Are you out of your mind? Her Majesty appeared to me a while ago and revealed this to me. Her real mission here is to kill you both, to avenge our family member that was killed during the war by Chico warriors a long time ago. She has no memory problem. She advised that we do this quietly to avoid anyone from getting hurt. As she is well trained in martial arts combat and it's dangerous. Your Majesty, let's go. That your majesty and your highness will drop dead almost as if they finish a mouthful. It is only by a stroke of luck I was able to get to you both on time and brief you on what is happening. What are you doing, Mama? Are you out of your mind? Mama! Mama, what are you doing? I am exposing the devious lies of an evil Desperate and despicable conspirator, your highness. Meaning what exactly? You said his majesty and his highness would have dropped dead upon eating a mouthful of the same food. Isn't that what you said the spirit of her majesty told you? I have just eaten several mouthful as witnessed by everyone here, including you. And I am still standing and talking. How come I haven't dropped a bed? Oh, the spirit of Her Majesty lied? Oh, you are the liar! I never knew you hate yourself this much, Noma. You have just committed a needless suicide over nothing. Really? <laughs> what? This is the real poison that your mother gave you at the forest. The woman Isika helped you to put on this food is fake. <laughs> yes. Last night, I and Venus took this from where you hid it and replaced it with the fake one. Surprised or shocked? Which of them? Your Majesty, I don't know what she's talking about. What yes. is it? Yes, she's lying against the wheel. Shut up! Sorry, ladies. I'm at one. Your Highness. After you returned from Ichi Unachese's compound, the day Venus sprained her ankle, she confided in me 
about a strange encounter she had in the forest. Where a strange voice claiming to be from her destiny, a messenger from her destiny, told her that she must escape Icheko Kingdom today before dusk, else she would be killed and her blood used to bat you for a cleansing as instructed by the gods. But the voice went further to warn them that on no account should a third ear hear of what they were told, else they too would drop dead. But upon meeting and hearing her mother's voice the day you took her there for her to help with her uncle's spring. And the voice sounded so familiar to the one that she heard in the forest. She became so suspicious, unsettled, afraid, she had to confide in me. So, moving on from that day, your majesty, I and Venus decided to monitor she and her mother just to have a tangible, direct evidence to be able to expose them. Two days ago, I and Venus trailed she and Isika here to the forest where they were planning this poison episode. Your Majesty, Your Highness, the both of you are not their real target, but Venus is. What they planned to do was to, to, to suggest to you and convince you to, to force Venus to eat from this poison food if she denies their poison allegation, which a part just played out, so that she would die as a result. Further armed by this information, I and Venus devised our own plan to expose them once and for all. Isika. Earlier today, when Venus told me that she was pressed and needed to use the restroom, <laughs> she was only playing. A plan came. We knew that you were around and needed the sin to be cleared so you can perpetrate your evil plots. And you? <laughs> when you played the fall prank in the store, I did not purposely leave the food unattended and rush to help you as you thought. Mm -mm. I knew that he needed the sin to be cleared so that your evil plots can be perfected. Yes. But unknown to you both, our secret camera mounted in the kitchen was recording every bit of your actions. Just as it's recorded everything you guys did in the forest. Um, Norma, you, you said you have uh, the recorded videos of what you've just said. Yes, Your Majesty. The video conspiracy of the poison and the poisoning proper. Madam Angelic, can you now tell His Majesty, His Highness and everyone, yes, all of us, why you all went to such an evil extent to eliminate an innocent young lady? Mjidek, uh, just tell us that this is all lies. I'm sorry. She's telling the truth. <laughs> Isika! So, uh, uh, Isika! You might just take a look at it. Drop it. Drop it on your floor! So, you might just. I have to quickly call the doctor. It's obvious she's in. Ah! Someone might choose immediately. Yeah, hello, doctor. So you have to come to the palace immediately. It's urgent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Go, go, go. 
Kingdom. You are barred from associating with people who committed such abominable act. Except if you are part of the conspiracy <coughs> that I'm asking you, are you part of this evil conspiracy? <coughs> I am not. Please. Go. Good to I'm not here. It's your nature. Blood is thicker than water. But you know that the evil ones are not additions to family or community eh? and your moving brand is honorable thing to do don't worry you are two sons from your uh, late wife who will take care of you they will be there for you you must keep in the doctor for crying out loud yes <laughs> <laughs> Passed out, so we've been waiting for the doctor to come and tend to you before you woke up. I am back only because our wives. The I lost it when I was captured by them. When I was captured by armed human traffickers in the big forest. Armed um, human traffickers in the big forest? That's strange. Father, her memory is back. She can now remember things. Can you tell me what happened? I mean, where are you from? How, how, how did you end up with bruises and abandoned in the jungle of Obaji? Yes, uh, please talk to us. My name is Venice, Your Majesty. I was on my way to Abuja from my mother's village. I was going away after the gods revealed in an utterly humiliating manner that I was not the biological child of my mother's late husband. And so I wasn't chosen for the prince. Even so, close to our planned wedding. At Osupo, on my way to my aunt's place in Abuja, a mysterious power abducted and deposited me in the big forest. A mysterious voice told me that I was abducted on the orders of my destiny and the gods of the land of my biological father so that I could fulfill my destiny. Hmm. That's strange. Uh, so, um, do you have an idea of who your biological father is and where he's from? I don't know my father, Your Majesty. I've never met him. Uh, you don't 
you don't know where he's from, his relatives, cousins? Please, spare me the agony of discussing about that beast. If you must know anything about him, Here's the identity card. My mother gave it to me while I was leaving the village. Use it to look for him and his family. Any questions you want to know about him, direct it to them. I don't want to ever meet him. I'm sorry. The girls invited me to Ubaji Jungle because they wanted to give me this luggage. The reason being that this card is important to the unraveling of her destiny. The girls are wild. Venus, give the card to the chair on that chair. Me? me? What yes. For? The identity card belongs to your younger brother. Eh? Doctor Emeka Omonna. It's true. Ibu, just make my younger brother. Okay. Your second wife did not just drug and seduce you that day. She proceeded to hire hardened criminals to abduct Dr. Emeka. Oh. Later that night, they dramatized his elimination by forcing him to take part in an armed robbery planned by Dr. Dalla. Hey. The second wife. Hey. During which they forced him to rape the victim's wife. Enjoy finish. <laughs> Maybe enjoy pass. <laughs> Ocho baby, how dare you let my wife go pass? Ocho baby, Ocho, Ocho, Ocho baby, Frank, oh, Frank, 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 stop him, Frank, 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 Frank. Baby, please calm down, baby. Please, please, please. You enjoy yourself. How do? How do? Stop, 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 stop. How do you like it? Frank, stop him, man. Frank, stop him. Frank, stop me! Frank, stop me! Frank, stop me! Frank, stop me! Frank! 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 wife that night hmm. but our wise gods refused to let the story end the way the evil woman wanted hmm. even though the letter succeed in dumping the pregnancy she got from artificial means and not from the sexual encounter she had with you hey. 
The menstrual should never produce a child for you thereafter. You chill, not chase it. Oh. Today is the last day of judgment by the gods on Dr. Dalla and her evil daughter. They have revealed our daughter who they brought to us in their own time. Hmm. Venus is the chosen bride to our noble prince. The reason they did not mention any maiden by name when they named the family she came from. The gods are wise. Gods are wise indeed, son. Yes. The gods are wise. My wife is free. going to be my wife. My wife is free. You're going to be a queen. Far kingdom. What you can do? What you can do? 